What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save your SHSH blobs for A12 and A13 devices for downgrade purposes. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a software created to repair system errors for iOS and iPadOS and stuff like that. It can enter and exit recovery mode for which we're going to use it today. And of course, it can also downgrade, reset device and fix iTunes synchronization errors. Check it out in the link below. Now, before we even start, you should definitely know that in order to be able to save blobs on A12 and A13 devices, you have to be jailbroken. So for example, if you're running 13.7 or 13.5.1 or 14 or any other version that is not jailbreakable with Uncover or Odyssey, you will not be able to do this procedure. I just want to get this out right off the bat. So you have to be jailbroken, for example, on 13.5 or 13.4 or stuff like that, because you need to be able to set the nonce before you can save the blobs. The procedure is very different compared to the A11 and A and devices and stuff like that. So this video only applies for the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, iPhone SE 2020, iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, the latest iPad Pros and stuff like that. Not for the iPhone 7, not for the iPhone 8 and stuff like that. All right, so as I said, you have to be jailbroken. I'm going to use Uncover for this and we have to move to the phone because we have to set the nonce before we jailbreak with it. So if you are jailbroken right now on your phone, reboot it in the unjailbroken state on the stock mode. All right, so here I am on the device. It's an A12 device. It's an iPhone XS Max. And of course, I'm currently in the stock mode. The jailbreak is not activated. You can see that Cydia refuses to start. And I have the uncovering here. We have to do this procedure before we're able to save the blobs. So we have to go here to the uh, gear, to the settings. And of course, go here to the generator. Now in here, you have to write hex or 0x and 16 ones. So it will be 0x 111111. You have to write 16 ones. I'm going to put it in the description down below. If you want to copy it, I'm going to copy it in here. And of course, after you do that, you just have to dismiss the keyboard and press done. So what happens? Well, at this point, when you jailbreak, it will set that generator into the device's NVRAM. So we have to jailbreak right now. I'm going to press jailbreak and be right back. All right. So as you can see, the jailbreak was successful. We're pressing here and it will show this jailbreak completed, no error occurred. So basically at this point we are both jailbroken and of course we set the generator for the nonce. Now we press OK, we wait for it to respring, restart, whatever, and it will come back. I'm gonna be right back. All right, so at this point my phone is jailbroken, all the tweaks are showing up properly and stuff like that. It's just that now we have a generator set up in the memory. Now with the phone jailbroken and in the jailbroken state, you connect it to your computer with your USB cable and this is where things get complicated. So you have to open terminal and you are able to actually do this on Windows, Linux and Mac OS as well. On Linux and Mac OS, this is easy, but on Windows, this is going to be pretty hard for you. So you're going to need a special Windows tutorial for that. I do, however, definitely advise you to use Linux if you cannot afford Mac OS because it's much, much easier to do all of these procedures because there are many tools available for Linux that are not available for Windows. Anyways, this tutorial would work for both Linux and Mac OS. So a thing you need if you are on Mac OS, however, and of course, if you never installed anything like this before, you would need Homebrew. You install it by running this command in here by copying in here and pasting it into the terminal and pressing enter. I do have, however, the Homebrew installed. You would not need to do this on Linux, but on Mac OS you do. Now, after that, you need an open source software called libiRecovery. It's available in the description as well. And this one would be very, very useful for what we need. But this one has some dependencies. So I have to read the instructions for how to install it in here. Now, some of the dependencies are, for example, autoconf, automake, libtool, libreadline, libusb, and stuff like that. On Linux, you would just have to copy this entire command and write it in the terminal. It should install what it needs automatically. On Mac OS, if you don't have them, you would have to copy them, each one, and install them with a command like this, brew, install, and let's say automake. And this is how it would look like for a command if you don't already have them. So these are the necessary things and this is the command. You press enter and it would install that thing. The installation may take a while. However, if you had already compiled things in the past on your Mac, you probably have these already installed. If you didn't, you would have to install all the prerequisites. All the things that you have to install are basically in here in the installation and getting started. So you should be able to see everything that you need. I'm going to link this page in the description down below. But 
you definitely need to install everything. So after you have everything installed, including libimobile device, what you need to do is to basically start the terminal once again, and this time you would have to copy these two commands in here. So the first one is this, we copy it and paste it and press enter. So it says cloning into libi recovery. Wait for it to complete and once you get again your username, cd into that folder. So cd or change directory, lib i recovery. You can press tab and it will auto complete. So we go in here and now we have to copy and of course run these commands in here. So we have to copy this one and run it in here and this one can spit a lot of text don't worry just wait for it to complete if it does pop up any errors it means that you are missing something you don't have a dependency installed please post the error in the comments below and i can assist you with that now as you can see in my case there have been no errors and therefore it says configuration for libi recovery 1.0.1 if you see this in here it means that everything went okay and you're not missing any dependencies the next thing you have to run is make and this one again will spit a lot of text at you and if you don't see any errors in here and it returns back to your username you should be fine and then the last one is sudo make install and you press enter and you have to input your password for this one the password for your computer and of course this one will also spit a lot of text now once you've done that everything should be fine you have to write clear to clear everything in here and now we can finally connect to the device and get what we need and of course before we can do anything we have to put the device in recovery mode now you can put the phone in recovery mode either by using the buttons you press the power button and of course the volume down button while the phone starts and stuff like that you can google how to put iphone 11 pro max or iphone 10s max in recovery mode and there will be videos about that but i'm not going to do that i'm going to use any fix the program that i mentioned in the beginning of the video because it has the buttons for it now entering recovery mode with this is actually completely free so you press enter recovery mode and then of course you press enter and your phone will enter recovery mode no problem you don't have to fiddle with the buttons and stuff like that and this feature in here is free you don't have to buy the program the free trial of the program would do that for you so we're waiting for the device to get into the uh, recovery mode. Once it does that, you should be able to see a laptop logo and a power cable on your screen. All right, so the final step, actually saving the blobs. So now that the device is in recovery mode and the generator is set, we can run the iRecovery command, you know, the program that we just installed, and of course, obtain the nonce. So to do that, we write iRecovery-Q, put this bar and then write grep and non-C. Press enter and you should get a value like this not the same value but a value like this after the non C copy that value in there and go to the TSS saver one canoncom here on the identifier select your iPhone model in my case is going to be iPhone 10s max so iPhone 11.6 and then check this little thing in here which says manually specify an app nonce for advanced users and on the field that appears you have to paste the nonce that you copied from the terminal and now we just need the ACID for that you open iTunes and of course you should have it in here if you have serial number you press on it and it will change the ACID right click the number and copy close iTunes paste the ACID in there and this is how your configuration should look like now check the I'm not a robot and press submit and at this point you're going to have done saving ACID and this is going to be your link and right now it's under maintenance but the blobs will be available on the link so at this point you have your blobs saved for a 12 devices this is very important you have to specify that nonce otherwise it would not work thank you for watching I am GS now till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out